Um, since you mentioned Trevor, Trevor and Richard, um, yes. can you tell us a little bit about the background of how you got involved in this project and like what might be your sure. motivations? Sure. So funny enough, uh, I, um, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't, um, uh, if I, if I didn't say that, you know, it was, it was a scientist, um, Jeremy Freeman, uh, who, who suggested that I, I kind of take some of the visualization stuff that I was working on in web mm -hmm. and then go work in science. And at the time, you know, I, I, I was, I was skeptical. You know, I was like, I, I think I need to reinforce here just how little <laughs> I know here. I'd be really uh, intimidated too. I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Totally. I mean, Jeremy's got a PhD in computational neuroscience. He's an incredibly bright oh, guy. Man. And, you know, and, 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 you know, and, and it's like, like, I, I think, you know, you overestimate, you know, the, the, the <laughs> what I have to offer here. Uh, and he's like, you know, we really do need a lot of software in, uh, in science. And we, there is an opportunity, a lot of, uh, we're doing a lot of visualization and the need for software is great. And so um, I, I really, that, that was kind of the initial spark and, and push came from Jeremy, uh, who's, who's a friend. Uh, and then uh, with, with Trevor's lab in particular, um, I was kind of sitting around during the Ebola epidemic, and uh, I just put up a silly little website um, that, that kind of uh, scraped some data, uh, kind of a lot of the stuff you see now, right? It was like, you know, newspapers were reporting like um, the case rates, like, like you know, this, this many cases, many deaths. This, tomorrow, you know, it was just another number in the newspaper. This many cases, this many deaths. And I was like... Mm -hmm. Put a put a you know a continually updating graphic there and reference the same graphic every day so I can you know I can kind of see these numbers in context and mm -hmm. you I see that right now in, in coronavirus people trying to try uh, try out different charts to show the numbers in context a lot of you know kind of innovation um, uh, on Twitter and and other places uh, uh, in the visualization community ongoing um, mm -hmm. for this for this pandemic this for, at the time. Um, I, uh, I did that and then Trevor actually saw it when I, you know, sent out a message about it and, and he, um, he sent in a pull request for a line of best fit. And then, uh, later on, um, and we had just kind of collaborated on GitHub and then later on, um, and that was like a Saturday night project. I mean, it was like a hack project that took me a couple hours. I was like, here, here's a line that wasn't so hard, right? You know, like <laughs> show the data in context. And, and then, and then that, that it ended up that, uh, um, Trevor sent out a message, uh, which was like, Hey, I, I you know, I'm, I'm looking for some, some help on the website. Um, to uh, um, on a project related to the tra uh, tracking evolution of viruses in real time, mm -hmm. and I, I, this is it was completely mind blowing to me. And I, I had never um, I, it's an understatement to say that I, I I wasn't like you know on the cutting edge of what was becoming possible with this. You know that I I uh, I, I was uh, just completely intrigued by the idea that that we that humans could track. Um, evolution in real time, yeah. or what that would mean, or, or what, what, like, what, what does that even mean? And so I, I, um, I, I just reached out, and we ended up, um, you know, kind of ended up hitting it off, and 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 uh, and I was able to kind of contribute from. They had a prototype. Mm -hmm. They had uh, visualizations on the web. They had a tree on the web. They had a map, um, and I kind of helped them go from. We have a tree and a map on the web to. Um, can, you know, can it be a platform that uh, the community can, we can have multiple diseases all in one format. Um, we can, you know, have uh, kind of make it repeatable and, and um, uh, drive the, uh, have deep link to states. We'll show some of that, but you know, you can, you can deep link to states in the visuals, uh, in the visualizations that, that, um, that, yeah. that would allow, allow you to, so, so, so that kind of web infrastructure stuff and then visualization and product side. Um, and, and then, you know, after 18 months or so, um, I kind of handed it, handed it off back to their lab and they're, you know, they've, um, uh, and, and the people in their lab have been incredible and have just kind of, you know, have, have, uh, have, have just, just, you know, they, they, they've all, they've all have gone on and, and expanded it, um, and, and, uh, and, and added, and added things, which is really fun. Yeah. And, um, I think there's like several things, uh, that is incredible from that story, I think. And the first thing is just this whole, like, I love your story about how, um, you know, computational biologists, like, I just think of these like really smart people and they're like, no, we yeah. need, we need your help as like tech people, as like software engineers. Cause oftentimes, yeah. uh, how I feel Absolutely. is like as a data visualization person, I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm just doing this thing like for fun or like for a job. Right. But like, um, I never really thought of it as like anything that'd be too helpful. Um, until I think like hearing stories like this is really amazing because like maybe I don't have that much of domain um, expertise in like one subject, but like like our, our domain expertise is working with data. Um, and so like, I think it's really totally. cool um, how your story really kind of um, emphasizes that. Um, mm -hmm. And also um, 
what you were saying about like being able to see um, this in real time. Um, I mm -hmm. only discovered Next Train like um, because of COVID-19 and I started because mm -hmm. I, I think I was feeling the same um, about what you were feeling um, with the Ebola outbreak with like with this right. one, there's just like so many numbers every single day. Um, right. And actually, um, the reason why I started looking at the numbers myself is because um, uh, we were actually planning a wedding reception in Tokyo in May. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations first. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, uh, and then we were like, well, uh, should, we, should, we, should we still keep going with this? Um, and, then, uh, and then all of the numbers were just kind of like every day, of course, changing, but also right. like such big numbers. Um, and I was like, okay, right. you know what? I'm going to like take a look at the data myself. I um, started looking at that. Um, and then, um, and then that's how I came across um, Next Train. And then the thing that was so incredible to me about Next Train is just like you said, how you can trace the real time mutations um, of the virus. Um, and then the reason why I reached out to you, actually, I reached out to Micah asking if he knew anybody um, that could help, like, walk me through the Next Train. And then he introduced me to you. Um, and uh, I reached out because I was like curious about whether. Like this meant um, we could trace where, like, where the spread was coming from, um, yeah. and so, uh, and then I had a third point that I now cannot remember, but um, I think that might be a really great place to kind of jump in. And oh, I think my third thing was um, talking about just you, just like you said. Um, I think it's also so amazing that this is um you can use it for like any sort of um i don't have the right vocabulary but any sort of pathogen um, in this case virus yes virus? um so it, it turns yes i i i will frequently give caveats about my understanding but for instance um you know there are certain um certain organisms and the way that they um, uh, evolution progresses uh, that do and don't involve, uh, for instance, recombination or like, you know, kind of um, plant interbreeding would be more difficult to show in this, uh, in this visualization or, or bacteria as well. I think it, it would need um, different uh, uh, because of the way that they share genes. My understanding generally is that this is pretty specific. It's pretty specific to viruses, but any virus is okay. Okay. 